Hell, everybody. <laughs> oh, well, no, I got it. I thought <laughs> I was doing this first, man. Oh, my like, bad. You, you, you get to lead us in. I got I to turn now. You right, you right. You get a turn. You right, you right. My bad, my bad. You got it. All right, oh, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, well, well there, there's a bit of a blum, blunder right there. So welcome back to Triton Cup. Here we have a Sanctuary versus Amber. I've heard some pretty good things about Sanctuary from Stormy within our little intersection. And yeah, I don't know much about Amber anyways. So I do know someone named Amber. <laughs> yeah, Sanctuary being a very strong mid-level team, well, borderline high-level, I guess. I'm not really sure where to call them, but just that they're a very strong team, to, to say the least, with Rockdiff there holding the back lines down. Daver, Daver is going to be on that machine. I think you count as a brush player as well, so they are a very strong team within their own right and just have ultimately been getting a lot of results in their uh, time of playing the game. I don't know much about Amber or anybody on it, but I think I know Spaghetti. If it's Spaghetti, I'm thinking that they are a really strong Wiper player, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh. Well, you know well, like you just mentioned, Rockdiff from Sanctuary. I actually do recognize Rockdiff as I've seen them prior in my time in Splatoon 2. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we're also going to be starting things off on the worst map in the game, Miss oh, Me Metalworks. Oh god, Splat Zones miss me. You know what? Y'all have fun playing on this map. Y'all go, go ahead and duke it out on this map. I'll just sit back and uh, commentate y'all suffering, you know? Like, I think that's the most better option for me. Um, I'd, I'd say I wouldn't call it suffering. I, for me, if I was playing this, I'd call it my prime time. Because this is where I get to play E-Leader for fun. Good lord. Oh, good lord. This yeah. map is... Has I'm not gonna die and I'll always shoot him in the eye. <laughs> of course. We do see the comps come out here. We do see the charger coming out for your side of Sanctuary with that brush and double splash. One will try to one with crab and then double crab with that um, wiper and the Tetris coming in for the side of Amber. So we're going to see a dive comp come out on the side of Amber. So they're going to be looking to go in a lot and possibly go for a lot of trades and picks. But one that goes out immediately on the side of Amber as we see Sanctuary set up shop here. Yep, Sanctuary wasting no time to get people down, like already instantly beat people down with an instant. Like, what happened? I mean, you just rush that... forward. Oh, rush forward? I don't know, I don't even know the, I didn't know like, you could do that. <laughs> not in this game, not that much, but they just push forward with their specials and they're just working out still going well for you. We see spaghetti on this. Stamp is going to try to find a pick, but is it going to find anything right there? That's basically of everybody there on the side of St. George and not get caught up there. And Patrol is going to still in their favor. Ooh, spot from these one. Looks like uh, Zone's finally going to flip over to Amber. So this dive composition might actually work well into Amber's favor. Once they establish their control, they're just going to be allowed to well, dive the charger and just restrict Pick Sanctuary to their spawn. Yeah, for sure. So, because of that dive comp, they're going to be able to push forward a lot, and they're going to want to push forward a lot, as two of their main weapons that dial up have to go down here, but they're just going to jump back in with their QR and just ultimately try to find something else. But two go down on the side of, say, of Amber, being those two splashes, being they lost full control, and they go right back to Sanctuary. I think this, the Wiper is behind them. Ultimately trying to get something done on this stand, but ultimately paying up oh. there by the Charger. Nice shot there by Lynn. Absolutely disgusting pick. I respect it. I love it when chargers get those uh, two tap kills. I like to do both of those two, but evidently it's only one necessary sort of situation. And this crap tank has already already got way too much value. Well, I should compliment them for that value, anyways, because two picks with that crap tank is enough to get control of zone. Yeah, for sure. I think I like the cop tank. Oh my good. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to give cop to the other team, but this charger on the side of Sanctuary is doing a lot of work. Three go down on the side of Amber. As they immediately lose control of the zone, they basically just they basically oh. just got. Yeah, I will always respect the the charger player and Lens doing such an amazing job getting those picks, being patient, waiting for the Tetras just to have their roll delay. Amazing. That is Charger Sense that I respect and I'm working on. But uh, looks like uh, Amber's just able to just, you know, they're able to say, okay, you killed us twice, we're still, we're still in the game. And they're able to get recontrol of zone and eat their penalty out. So now they're getting points towards the board. They're getting pretty close to lead as well, you know. 
I mean, yeah, that's what it is with that dodge composition. You know, you lose control very easy. It's like, oh, okay, that's fine. You can go ahead and do that, but we're just going to come right back and just keep coming at you, you know? And I think with the two crabs and with this dive comp, what's really well is because you have, like, a little bit of faith behind you if, while people are just running in and dying, a.k.a. the Tetris and the Wiper. Look, you can see them together right now just pairing up, causing mayhem on that left side as they are struggling to get rid of them and move out that side as the lead does go in their favor with a little bit of penalty points. So now we'll want to pick that dead on the side of Sanctuary. We'll try to move up with the special and force, possibly force them out. And another thing about Craft Tank is that Craft Tank generally fixes a lot of breach problems that this position can have. Because Craft Tank has um, basically Charger Ring. The explosion shot. Speaking of Craft Tanks, that's uh, it's a bit unfortunate. Yeah, that's what Stamp does to crack to crab tank nowadays, you know. As they are counting down on these points on the side. That's a nice pick there by Rockers though. It would keep the game going and for the capital zone. Now basically a delayed white coming in on the side of Amber. So now Sanctuary has to set up here under pick the check is going to die really early actually because they're going down. That bomb is gonna leave a lot of chip damage. Spaghetti going on this right side. We're gonna try to take advantage with this brush. The brush being very careful. We're gonna see what is the wood in there and the crab tank is popping in. They're gonna try to force the lead, go back on our side. But here comes the stand coming out on the side up and we're gonna try to force away in the zone. Find the trick on the brush, just get onto the zone. It's able to neutralize it and they force a cap in order to keep the game going before they go three down for control. Go right back to Sanctuary Dally. Yeah, Sanctuary having nearly gotten that lead just off the uh, last minute push from Amber. Unfor it's a good thing that they were able to maintain it because if they want lead, they're gonna have to. Oh, that's a lot of pressure alleviated. The target is dead and they're already also up. Up through two, actually. Reef slider into zone, and that's a wipeout. Oh, Lord. What a pick onto that charger, because that charger easily could have popped those tri strikes and ultimately got the lead back and won the game for the team. But because of that crucial pick, they were able to get the zone when they looked like they had no chance of getting it, and the Crab Sex able to clean up the rest, get a wipeout, get control back of the zone, and take game one in the favor of Amber. Yeah, that was... I was surprised at that comeback. I mean, we knew a bit more about Sanctuary, and I was expecting them to win that. However, Amber just completely took us by surprise, man. Their dive composition really... Well, I'm trying to process words. Do you, do you have any words? Oh, no, I have, a lot. I, yeah, I have a lot of words. No, because, like, I, it's generally surprising that... Amber was able to come back and get control of that zone at the very end because it looked like they didn't really have enough resources, but they did end up getting a resource. But that random pick they got on that charger while they had tri strikes, and, and and I think that charger held the tri strikes for a little bit too long, longer than they wanted to hold it. I feel, but regardless of such, they able to get that pick on the charger before it can bring out a special. And then once that happened, you just kind of pushed the zone and everybody else was just kind of getting called out, singled out, and they were able to find three picks. And then at that point, zone is just free. My thought is actually quite different because I think the pick on the charger was good because it alleviates the pressure of the lo their long range pressure. I mean, so yeah, the charger, there's no threat of the one shot. There's no well, yeah, of the laser, so it's easier to tread forward. And not to mention, they had a crap tank that basically got like uh, effectively three kills, two, one assist and two kills. So well, I'd yeah. say it was just a good coordination with this with the crap tank that got their one of their retakes. Yeah, of course, uh, getting getting rid of any charges viable, but I'm more calling out the fact that they had special ready. Because in that situation, in those last moments, you would want to pop that special to hold control of the zone until the end of the game. And if the Chargers decided to maybe pop that special, the end result could have been a little bit different there for the side of Sanctuary instead of them going down a game. But we will be going over to Splat Zones on the Hammerhead Bridge, where I expect to see an E-Leader come out for the side of Sanctuary for that Charger. Oh, I do too as well, but I still would... Be careful with playing E leader here because dive compositions can thrive. Because once a dive composition just gets control, it's going to be very difficult for the E leader to help their team get out of that lock. 
true true that is very true that dive composition especially on this map like you said like once you get locked in and pushed in them tetris and wipe the tetris and a wiper are just going to be a nuisance to throw to the side because if they die they're just going to just keep jumping back into mix with their teammates which they both have the double crafting assuming they keep the same comp which they did i believe like both teams kept the same comp as well which perfectly understandable if it ain't broke don't fix it yeah for sure but that last game was super even so we're going to see the starting quiz club out here we're seeing i believe that viper's going over to that right side is going to try to take a little bit of chip damage there with that with the torpedoes there's an ultimate hole position there as well hold the pan the right side which only does go down earlier inside that sanctuary so we're going to see control go over to amber at the beginning of this game dally yep amber Amber's dive composition already establishing control as expected. They were even able to get the charger off early, which is fairly important. It alleviates plenty of pressure off the, the general mid fight. And oh! I thought that splash wall was uh, actually uh, from Amber for a second. <laughs> My bad. So I was about to say that's an excellent splash wall. Well, it actually was. So it uh, did help protect Rock though. Yeah, for sure. We're going to see a lot of chip damage. They'll come out on the side of Amber, able to get two picks there. And we see the killer well come out there as well, but ultimately not enough to force Mr. Amber out. That crafty coming out here is going to be able to help. Try some assist there. And three, you go down on the side of Sanction where not just my spaghetti to clean all that up with that wiper. It's going to be a thorn to the side now as that dive come, as we talked about, has now got a complete control on the top side. But unfortunately, both of the two dive weapons do go down, but they're going to be able to jump back to their teammates all the way in mid so now we're going to see special come out on the side of sanctuary being one being that crafting maybe the fourth short that's going to find another nice pick there and trying to come out here they're going to force a retake and apply a 29 point penalty yes and there's octave trying to fight the tetras unfortunately tetras are able to play out the angle a bit better and wall them out but this tetra is already proving to be more of an annoyance than expected diving in alongside spaghetti's wiper spaghetti wiper yeah, for sure. That, that, that sounds funny. <laughs> Spaghetti wiper. <laughs> they have stamp at the ready as well. They're going to play a little bit more patient here. Crafting as well. Here comes the stamp coming out here. I'm going to try to put a little bit of pressure. It's going to swerve back and forth to avoid dying there. It's going to throw the stamp and try to find a pick. But ultimately, gets nothing out of that. And two go down inside. Three go down inside of Sanctuary. I mean, inside of Amber. So now Sanctuary is going to push back into the zone and force a recap as well. But Control is still not a ring in a favor. The touches are behind him right now. So they're going to worry about that as well as everything else. It's two, one to go down. Down, but it looks like they are going to be able to get complete control here for finally for the side of sanctuary. Yes, yeah, a very a very well coordinated trip one. I was I couldn't I can't quite tell if that was a delayed wipe or yet or not. But regardless, sanctuary is able to regain control, and I think one of the nice benefits of having this having Lent on charger is the rest of their teammates can play dive or cycle dive to remain to control the enemy spawn while Len is just kind of there to provide jumps. And triple ink strike off uh, crafting, which is always good. And it looks like Amber is able to get the recap, although they're only oh, make that wipe as well. Their dive, they just dive dove right in. Yeah, for sure. And now they don't have any resources at the ready at all. So this is kind of a chance for Amber to pretty much get a bunch of picks here if they're not very careful. That splash going down really means nothing and when the two teams are still left alive here. That one's gonna come out here as well. We're able to find a little bit of chip to have that charge to get out of there. So two was on the side of Amber, but the chips are back right immediately. It's gonna try to take a shot at that crash. And here come the charger coming out for that charger. We're gonna try to get up before he goes down and ultimately is able to help tap that zone before they get really dire there. So Amber now forced to back out of here, but they still put it on that right side with that wiper. Yeah, pairing up is very good right now. It looks like they're... The Sanctuary is just trying to... Oh! Uh-oh! spaghetti -o. It's a few <laughs> kills. <laughs> Yeah, spaghetti on this wiper is causing a lot of problems for the side of Sanctuary. Ultimately getting a lot of picks, a lot of ch just keep jumping, keep being a force. You can see them deliver a lot of chip damage underneath that ledge, as there are only pretty much 50 penalty points in time with 4 people. Every oh. trade there, I think that trade was really nice there. It was in the league one to the now. 2v2 situation coming in right now. Here comes the crab tank, and that try shot come out really early, but the other crab tank for the side of Sanctuary is going to not ever is going to come out as well. Are they going to be able to contest the zone? I don't think they are going to be able to, that's, uh, that's a wipeout, and it looks like this set, this is going to go to Amber, whoa. Amber just, with that dive comp, just played extremely well, able to just 
keep control of the zone and just when you think they had a chance to breathe no they don't they just keep coming back in keep forcing you to fight and they were just ultimately able to just win the game and win the set as well yes i i respect the fact, fact that they were very uh engagement heavy and they coordinated very well with their specials as well and that definitely is a very good factor as to why they obtained their victory and they will be moving on to round three and funnily enough i think round three is where counterfeits start happening actually wait no i don't think that is We'll wait and see while we try to figure it out. We're going to take you guys to a short break. Don't go anywhere. You are watching Trident Cup on Devil Productions. Splatoon Stronghold, a stronghold for competitive Splatoon, providing resources to long-timers and newcomers alike. If you're new to the competitive scene or still figuring out how to join, we have a getting started guide and plenty of other resources to help you in your journey. If you are a seasoned veteran, we still have plenty to offer. You can find and join tournaments as well as participate in our captain forum and find free agents and teams. Our mission is to make competitive Splatoon easily accessible to everyone. So what are you waiting for? Join the Splatoon Stronghold today!